FA Chief Martin Glenn revealed Catherine Newton was chosen to lead the investigation because of her skin color. Photograph Getty Get the latest local news straight to your inbox every day Martin Glenn, the English Football Association's under-fire chief executive, has revealed that a black woman was deliberately chosen by the governing body to investigate racist allegations surrounding former England women's manager Mark Sampson. The internal investigation into Sampson, who was sacked earlier in the week for inappropriate and unacceptable behavior in his previous role at the Bristol Academy, was conducted by Dan Ashworth, the FA's technical director, and human resources director Rachel Brace. Glenn revealed on Thursday, a day after Sampson's dismissal, that he had sought out Catherine Newton, a woman of black ethnicity, to conduct the follow-up inquiry. A publication south of the border, however, has since said that Farrako, the FA's solicitors, told the newspaper that Newton's skin color had been utterly irrelevant. Glenn also dismissed suggestions of racism and bullying within the FA, but vowed to apologize to any Aluko and Drew Spence if it was uncovered that Sampson had made racist remarks to them in an incident separate to the allegations which have cost him his job. That will be looked into by the Newton-led investigation which has been reopened by the FA. Glenn said he feared two middle-aged Jewish white people doing the inquiry may have seen some of the shades of the issue that Annie was trying to get at. He continued so, quite deliberately, I said, I want an independent look at this and, to be blunt about it, I want it to be an employment expert, I want it to be female and I'd like it to be of a different ethnicity to us, in case we were missing things and in case the way we had done the inquiry may not have made people of a different ethnicity comfortable to speak up. I feel good about doing that. You can pick holes but I'm not going to get into her he said, she said about why some things were raised. You can deal only with complaints that get raised, not total hearsay. It was a full investigation. Glenn's latest remarks come with the FA facing serious questions over its competence after the women in football lobby group claimed the governing body was warned about Samson. In a statement, Women in Football said it was deeply concerned by the revelations surrounding Samson's appointment, which it believes should never have happened. WIF understands questions over Sampson's suitability for the role were flagged to the FA as early as 2013 during the recruitment process, it said. Glenn added it could very well be the case that Mark said some crass things. I don't know, you won't know and I suspect no one will know. If it's true that he has made inappropriate comments to any Aluko and Drew Spence, I will apologize. It was alleged on Thursday that Sampson's behavior was first reported to the FA around the time of his appointment in December 2013, and these claims became the focus of a year-long investigation by the governing body's safeguarding unit. That investigation cleared him from a safeguarding point of view and he was allowed to continue his preparations for the 2015 Women's World Cup, where England finished third. The FA, however, has now admitted the safeguarding team insisted Sampson go on a course to address his behavior at Bristol, but no senior official thought to ask for more details or read the unit's report until last week.